have to talk about my weekend a little bit. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm mentally ready to talk about it. Oh. Is anyone <sighs> going to be offended if you talk about it? Probably. Okay. <laughs> All right. Stand by to be offended, whoever you are. I wouldn't be offended. I just had to write a hotel review that I don't think I... I didn't want to write the review. What were you, what, I, I didn't want to have to relive the review. What were you doing in the hotel? Cliff and I decided we really just needed to get away and have a date night. Okay, and you went to a hotel. And you're we... Con, you're consenting adults, so that's fine. <laughs> it wasn't just the hotel, like. <laughs> <laughs> I looked online on Thursday. We happened to have Friday and Saturday off, which is a rare occurrence for us, and it was the last one we were going to have for probably the next eight weeks. Okay. So I was like, do you want to go see this comedy show? We really like Nate Bergetzi. We think he's really funny. He hosted Saturday Night Live a few months back. I just, I really find his comedy super fun. He's kind of dry. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's a Nashville guy. Okay. And I just, I love it. It's clean comedy. He's just a jokester. And it's his delivery. So I'm like, yes, awesome. Oh my God, they have a 3 p.m. show. They sold out the Dunkin' Donuts Center, which is now the Amica Mutual, whatever it is. <clears throat> they sold it out for 7 p.m., but they opened up a new show. It's at 3 p.m. I'm like, perfect. At the Dunks for Comedian? Right. The only comedian I have ever known up until now who could do that was Steve Martin. Yeah. And now they seem to all do it. Yeah. 14,000 plus, I think it's 1480 is what we were looking. Um, Cliff and I were looking at the capacity. Wow. And they sold out two shows. It was a great, it was a great show. Mm -hmm. Uh, really enjoyed it. And I said, we'll make a night of it. We'll grab mm -hmm. a night, uh, a hotel, and we'll go out yep. to dinner in the city and just kind of walk around. Providence is super walkable. Um, where I'm from the area. Right. I love it. And if Have you're it, over by Dunks, you're right by Federal Hill. Right, exactly. Ask for anything more. Right. So um, one of our high tiny um, one of our favorite places is Portafu, and we haven't been there um, oh my gosh. in like 15 years. I haven't heard that name in like right? forever. I had my Julia Child. We had the beef bourguignon. We had a beautiful right. evening. It was fabulous. Yep. Comedy show, lovely dinner. Walked back to our hotel. Got to walk around Providence a little bit. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. We had a fun afternoon. We went to Dave and Buster, played games like we were 12. Right. Uh, had a really good time. Go to bed. Wake up in the morning. He goes and gets coffee, and I get out of bed. What, ho what hotel? The Hilton, right, right next to the Dunk. Formerly the Holiday Inn. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, let me just tell you about it. You can tell. Formerly the Holiday Inn. So this, I was like, it's right next door. It's fine. I booked the room. We're we're Hilton members. I'm like, this will be fine. Not a big deal. Then, for whatever reason, I decide to open up the reviews of the hotel. You want to talk about comedy? Sandwich police move over. This is just. Oh, no. They were like, there's an unhoused man living in the elevator and he won't leave. I mean, oh, you have no idea the reviews of this. And I'm like, this can't be. This, right. this isn't real. Yeah. I've already booked this room. We're into this. We're stuck here. Right. Don't know what we're getting into. Can't leave now. It's a Saturday right? night. When are we going to get, get a hotel room? Well, this is on our way there. So this is way earlier in the day. Oh, okay. And it's one of those things where it sends you your digital key or fine. We, right. we, we arrive to uh, a fire truck and two ambulances removing somebody from the lobby. Not quite sure what that was all about. Well, that's kind of like where I live, but move on. Right. <laughs> this is, this is where our experience at said Hilton began. <sighs> we go and we like the entire place smells like an ashtray. <laughs> The whole oh, thing, the whole thing. I was like, oh, it's not great. Finally, we get up into our room after the very, very slow, very busy elevators got us up there. We check in. And I'm like, okay, what are we going to go do? Because I can't just sit there. Good morning, Edie. Um, so we, we decide to go off on our adventure. Didn't come home until late at night. Slid mm -hmm. right into bed because we were exhausted and had a full day in the city. Mm -hmm. Woke up. I'm brushing my teeth. And he's like, oh, my God, get over here. I beg your pardon? There was poop in our bed. And it didn't come from either one of you. Oh, um, and you slept with it? Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And it please. Was okay, wait, 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 time out. <laughs> Don't be offended, okay? Okay? <laughs> Try to unsee it. I understand. I'm trying to unsee it. Just don't get mad at Steph, okay? It's a true story. I took a picture of it. No. I didn't want to have it on my phone. <laughs> it was on his side. 
and he swears he didn't do it. No, it was by the feet. We weren't even down there. <laughs> oh. <I was> like... <laughs> it was like a smudge. <laughs> Like someone wiped their rear end on the bottom of the bed by his feet. Oh. <laughs> it was like, oh my uh, goodness! So you know my husband. You know what a disgusting germaphobe he is. Yes, I do. <laughs> like, do you ever see that scene in Ace Ventura? <laughs> it's like showering and scrubbing all of his entire body. This is this he can't. He's like, we got, we got to go. We got to leave. We got to go now. <laughs> Oh this is before we had to do knockabout on Sunday. So we we're both coming home and he's like, nope, I don't even want to talk. Don't even look at me. I don't even want to talk about it. He cleaned his car. He cleaned his whole car. We both desanitized ourselves. He he was in the shower for hours. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he cleaned the car. Oh my god. Yeah, because we sat in it <laughs> after we fled the hotel. <laughs> oh, and you were and you were okay, I got it. It was wretched, wretched. We tried to talk to the people, but there was somebody else losing their mind and screaming at the lady back behind the desk. So I was like, I don't, I don't even want to say this out loud. Right. I do not want to talk about this ever again. It was a situation. But then today they were like, how was your stay? <laughs> <laughs> like, Please give us a review. We're always interested well... in finding out what our, what our customers think. <laughs> Oh my lord. I wrote the chat bot. You know, I didn't know it was a chat bot. It was like, get help now. So I was like, uh, blah, 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 blah. There was this, there was this, there was poop in my bed. <laughs> and the thing goes, okay, thank you. <laughs> Guys, it was traumatic. I don't, I don't it's going to be a while before I. Um... Are you going to ask for your money back? <laughs> I don't even think that that's enough. <laughs> I don't. Well, don't ask for a free night. Right? But but like, I have an Amex with Hilton. Like, guys, <laughs> you can do oh. better. <laughs> they can do better. Well, you right? can do better. Uh, right? They can do better. Do better. <laughs> that's going to be my slogan. I think oh, I might get a tattoo better. that says do better, do better. now. On my oh, my God. <laughs> My girlfriend Julie showed me hers yesterday, and I was like, you know what? I think I might need that. Might need to be my new tattoo. Do better. Uh, yeah, that's horrible. Gross. That's so where you and I had a little bit of a different hotel experience. Yeah, we, yeah. Oh, yeah. We did. <laughs> we did. That's where. Not drawing a conclusion here, but all the um, hockey players and and everyone that plays at the Dunks. That's where they stay. Guys, don't stay there. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I, yeah, now I have to go unfollow Hilton because I am definitely offended. <laughs> <laughs> you really, you really need to, to call and and send them a picture of that. Oh my God, jeez! Good morning to everybody over at the Honeydew team in Dennisport. You are awesome. We're giving you a shout out. Thanks for joining us on the show this morning. Hi. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm going to do about that situation, but. It's been out there. I I gave the hotel an internal review before I decided to go external with it because I don't even want to type that. And I really don't want that photo on my phone, but it's there just in case there needs yep. to be evidence of mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I gave it to a clip. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to even have it on my phone. Right. Look at him. He's walking away with his ears <laughs> covered. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what you do? You email yourself the photo. And then you take it out of your photos. It's still in, in the cloud. In it's still phone. there. No, 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 no. But what I mean is you don't have to look at it. Yeah, that's it, true. Yeah, and my send, scrolling. Send it to yourself in an email, and then it's gone, and you know it's out there in some kind of an email. Subject, poop in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Christy, I could tell horrific hotel stories all day long. So many crazy ones. You know, we very well could be picking up new listeners in Orlando right now. <laughs> Yeah, this is Pro this is what awaits for you in Providence. I wouldn't say it was a magical experience. I mean, so yeah, <laughs> so we're walking to the car. Tom, like Tom Ferry, it's still okay to come to Providence. <laughs> we'll find you a better hotel, bud. Okay, oh, <laughs> please come anytime. We'll set you up. <laughs> Christy just made hashtag poop in bed. <laughs> it was an Amber Heard situation, you guys. <laughs> Uh, 
talking to people in Honeydew Donuts, so I think 